In this video, I'm going to show you how to use chopsticks with your left hand. So choose chopsticks with your left hand. The technique is exactly the same as using them with your right hand. If we take our first chopstick, we just want to place it at the base of our thumb. Open your fingers and just rest the chopstick against the side at the end of your ring finger. And then just lay your thumb over this chopstick just to hold it in place. And the pressure of your thumb against this chopstick you should press it against your finger and your hand. And this will just hold this chopstick in place, keeping it stationary. Now for the top chopstick, you want to hold it between your thumb and your first and second finger. A little bit like when you're taught to hold a pencil. But you don't want to be holding it with the tip of your thumb because you see how it makes my thumb bend. You want to hold it more with the pad of your thumb so you can keep your thumb completely straight. And it's really important that you keep your thumb straight and you'll see why in a moment. And also, you want to move the thumb a little bit further up your fingers, roughly where the first knuckle is. And then what you want to do to move this chopstick, you just want to bend your first and second finger. Paying attention not to bend your thumb. If you're holding it with the tip of your thumb, which you can do with just one chopstick, you'll be likely to bend your thumb. We won't be able to hold the bottom chopstick, as you'll see in a moment. So concentrate on just moving this first chopstick with your first and second finger, trying to keep your thumb straight. You want to create sort of a fulcrum or a seesaw effect underneath your thumb. So when you've got the hand of that, you can place the bottom chopstick back in place, base of your thumb against the side of your ring finger at your nail, lay your thumb over it, and then take your top chopstick, put it back in place again, between your first and second finger at the ends there, and then the pad of your thumb, pressing on the chopstick just to hold it in place. And then to open and close the chopsticks, we just do the movement that we learn with our first and second finger. And that is all there is to holding chopsticks. Now remember to keep your thumb completely straight. See how my thumb is straight? Keeping it straight is keeping pressure on this chopstick and this chopstick. If you have your thumb bent or you're holding it with the tip of your finger, immediately you just lose control of this bottom chopstick. So if you find that this bottom chopstick is coming loose, or you can't meet because you're just not holding this chopstick in place, it's likely you're still bending your thumb. As soon as you bend your thumb, you see how you create an arch and you start to lose pressure against this bottom chopstick. You're not holding it with a lot of pressure anyway, so if you just lift it up, you're just losing pressure and it's just, it starts sliding up your finger, there's no way you can get it. So concentrate on keeping your thumb completely flat and you can push this knuckle a little bit down in order to put some pressure on the chopstick. And then just practice the movement of opening and closing the top chopstick by wiggling your first and second finger. So when you've practiced that movement a little bit, you can start and try and pick a few things up. I've just got a couple of blueberries here. Blueberries are all different sizes. If you don't have any chopsticks, don't worry. You can just use a couple of pencils. So here's a little tip courtesy of Lee's Random Vids. Popcorn. I believe popcorn is very good for practicing your chopsticks. Because like with any technique, it's about repetition. You've got to do it lots of times. And popcorn is nice and light and it's all different sizes and it's uneven shape as well. So it's really easy to grip. Like some foods are really difficult when you're learning, it's better off having something that's really easy. And it's also important that this is toffee popcorn. Why? Because it's absolutely delicious. And the delicious part is what will make you keep with the repetition. It's okay just moving an item on the table and putting it there, putting it there. You'll get bored with that quite quickly with something delicious as this. You take one, you eat it. You go straight back, you eat another one. You eat another one. You eat another one. And before you know it, you've eaten 30, 40, 50, 100, 500 pieces. I don't know. Depends how big your bag of popcorn is. And you've practiced the movement several hundred times 
with little effort. You wouldn't sit and place something there to there 500 times. Maybe you would, but I wouldn't. You get bored with that quite quickly. You know, I'm joking, it doesn't have any toffee popcorn, it can be anything you want, but it's something that you're going to keep eating, something that's moreish. For example, you could also use peanuts. Peanuts are even more difficult, but again, they're really moreish. These salted peanuts, you eat one, you eat 10, and you can't stop at 10, you just keep eating and eating and eating, and you eat so many. And it's also important as well, because using this technique, you're not just picking something up and placing it there, like I've done with the video. You want to actually take it and eat it. Why? Well, you might practice this movement from there to there, and you'll get it perfect. But when you come to use your chopsticks, you might find you pick one up, you take it to your mouth, oh, and you drop it. You pick another one up, and you drop it. As soon as you get to your mouth, you drop it. And again, because you haven't practiced movement from here to your mouth, you might find you're opening your hand for some strange reason. So you've got to practice actually taking it to your mouth and eating from the chopstick to learn and practice and repeat the perfect technique. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Give it a like if you like this video. Give it a dislike if you dislike this video. And subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future. Thanks a lot. Bye. And now I get to eat all this popcorn to myself. <laughs>